In this video, I'm going to show you how to plan a team manual for one of the teams in your business. This is going to help you to delegate and hand over tasks, avoid mistakes and rework, onboard new joiners quickly, and remove any reliance you have on specific people to do certain tasks so that you don't have problems when people take holiday or get sick. To get started, let's take a look at what a good manual looks like. So here's our example workspace, and you can find this at any time by clicking on the uh, help button up here and then clicking on examples and templates. Now you'll see that each team has got its own space. And if you open the folder for uh, one of these teams, I'm going to choose uh, sales, then you see that we've divided this into three sections. The first section has task checklists uh, for how to do tasks that are specific to this team. So in sales, we've got checklists for, for example, how to run a discovery call, how to follow up with someone who uh, misses a meeting and how to follow up with prospects. The second uh, section has task checklists for how teams work together. So setting goals, uh, 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 having meetings and, and so on. Uh, all with uh, individual checklists to help those things happen. Now, in many teams, these tasks end up being the manager's responsibilities, but that leads the, to the manager being a bottleneck, causing problems when they're not available and having a lot less time available for strategic tasks. By documenting them in your manual, you can help other team members to get involved and help out. They'll appreciate having more responsibility and having a manager who has more time available to support any problems that they have. In the third section, you'll see training and onboarding. The onboarding checklists are there to help new employees get started in the team uh, and, uh, existing, uh, and also can be used to help existing team members to take on new roles and responsibilities. Um, this includes things like meeting the team, learning how we work together, setting up their tools and, and so on. But what about training? Well, for many tasks, a clear task checklist will actually provide all the training that your team needs. So for example, a new sales rep should be able to ha learn how to share a quote by simply reviewing the share a quote checklist. But I wouldn't want a new sales rep to start running discovery calls with customers without some additional training. And that's uh, where having training checklists really helps. So for example, we might have a, a training checklist for getting started with discovery calls that includes watching a video, practicing with colleagues, getting, and getting an approval from a manager. So that's what good looks like. And if it helps to include other documents or links for the team to reference, then you absolutely can. Uh, by, uh, with, when you're within a folder, you can click on, to create a link, or you might link off uh, to other uh, documents from within pages and so on. But most of the guidance will be embedded into task checklists and onboarding. And that's a good thing because it means all of your guidance is actually tied to a business process. And this makes it much easier to ensure that the guidance is actually used, followed and kept up to date. Okay, so now it's your turn. You need to create an outline of all the task checklists, training and onboarding that your team need. And this isn't because we're going to try and document everything immediately. Don't worry, we're not. <laughs> it's because having this outline will make it so much easier to prioritize, create and manage your content going forward. So if you don't already have a, a folder for your team, then we need to create one. So just click here, create a folder, for example, for sales. Then we can open it and then switch to the manage view. From here, we can start by listing out all of the common tasks that your team does. So if you're in sales, it might include things like make sales calls. Handle objections. Share a quote and so on. If you're in marketing, it might include write a blog article, schedule social media posts, plan a new campaign. You get the idea. Think about the tasks that your team do every day, every week, every quarter, every year, and ad hoc as needed. Don't worry about organizing them right now. We can do that in a bit. Now, if you haven't already, add in the uh, tasks that the manager does as well. So maybe it's agreeing sales goals, uh, run sales meeting, 
update report, uh, maybe, or update dashboard, and so on, right? Um, then you can also add in training checklists. So think about all the areas that your new team members need to gain experience in. For example, um, learn how to run a discovery call. Learn how to write great sales emails and so on. For your onboarding checklists, I recommend creating one for getting started in the team. Uh, for example, um, uh, both at the uh, sales team level, but then within each area of that. So for example, then get started as an inbound sales rep. Finally, if you have any other resources that you want the team to be able to find, then you can absolutely add these as other pages or as links within that workspace, okay? Great, so now we've listed out all of the guidance that your team needs. It won't be perfect and you'll think of things later, uh, uh, but that's okay, right? <laughs> we've got a great starting point to build on. That said, it is worth taking a little time to get things organized. Now, I recommend using the uh, same structure that I shared earlier, grouping the content into uh, core tasks and using subfolders if needed, uh, team tasks, uh, uh, such as goals, meetings, and so on, and onboarding and training. We tend to find this makes it much easier. The final step is then uh, to prioritize where to start. You need to work out which two or three pages your team needs most urgently. Then you can decide who's going to document those pages and who's going to review them. And you can do this all using this manage view. So for example, I might say this is the absolute highest priority, then sharing a quote, uh, and also learning how to do a uh, discovery call. So we're gonna highlight those as high priority and we might identify who's going to be, uh, when it needs to be uh, documented by, who by, and who's then going to, uh, going to review it and so on. So this makes it easy for you to uh, uh, plan what you're going to develop and uh, manage it with the team. And I recommend reviewing this management view in Air Manual each week, perhaps as part of your team meeting, to review progress and agree on the next priorities. But for now, we're clear on our top priorities, so you can get started on creating some checklists and handing them over.